Dungeons and Dorkheads is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Head down to the link below to help head out to productions and get some great deals on video games. Not only that, but the show is also available in podcast form. That link is also down below. How'd you bastards rope me into this? Very carefully. Yeah, I can imagine. Greetings I'll and you welcome. Know you wrote me into this. You already messed it up. Okay, greetings and welcome to Dungeons and Dorkheads, our new D and D show. Uh, it's we're not playing. It's not D and D. It's not D and D. I was just oh, getting what the fuck well, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, but we have to be accurate. There's all these. Let him do his thing. Shut the Fine. fuck up. All right. Well, we're playing Roan, uh, and uh, you folks can uh, do with this video what you will. Some of you may think of it more as a podcast or something like that. Feel free to uh, minimize this video and just listen to the comforting sounds of our voices as we play Roan. Take it away, mm -hmm. DM. Fantastic. Okay. So for those watching at home, this campaign is going to be a semi-serious romp through the post-nuclear equestrian world of Rowan that has came back from the brink of war and is now a prosperous nation of responsible, semi-responsible beings in all shapes and manners. And there's, a, there's a lot of things going on in this world. And frankly, there's a little bit too much to get into all at once. There's a lot of lore so, to this thing. The way yeah. that things should run is that we're going to kind of romp through the world and we're going to discover things as we go. Uh, it's going to be a shit show at times. There's going to be craziness. There's going to be maybe some tears, maybe some laughs, maybe some some big feels, maybe some small feels. We'll see how it goes. But for right now, our party finds themselves in New Damn Seer. Lydia and Marcel have came to the services of Betty Butterfeathers and her partner in crime. Well, not really crime, but, you know, it's it's crime. Uh, <laughs> I'll have you know I so, And they came to this private investigation agency to find a lead on Lydia's husband's killer uh we'll get a little bit more into it in open rp but that is the scene set uh so we're going to get into the current scene so for this opening scene lydia and marcel are at their hotel wherever they happen to spend the night for the past couple of days as they were waiting for Betty to go out and procure whatever information she could from the various nefarious sources she has on the streets. He slept on my roof. No, I slept on the couch. And I spent all day outside so that you didn't have to deal with me. No, you were on the roof of the apartment building. I doubt it. <laughs> so, dawn breaks and the city begins to come to life. It is up to Lydia and Marcel to choose what they're going to do next. Uh, my general assumption would bet they would be going to the uh... Betty. What are you calling it? The Butterfeathers and Co. Detective Agency. Butterfeathers and Co. Detective Agency. Ooh. And I'm on the title. Ah, that's company. You can have a company of two people. Yeah, Butter Feathers and Company. That, that's one. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Or two Don't stuff worry about the cloud. You got, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna teleport you guys in front of the front of the front of the All right. So Let 
If something's supposed to happen, we're still looking at this damn map. Well, uh, for now, for yeah. now, until we get into any sort of actual, you guys have to move around. A bit. We're in basically free RP. I am a horse. <laughs> We're so, all horses. Use your imagination. I'm a horse. <laughs> so, Lydia and Marcel find themselves in front of the building that contains the Butterfeathers and Co. Detective Agency. As they stand on the sidewalk, they see automobiles passing by, and there's a train overhead mm -hmm. from the local train station, and over all of the commotion, oh. they can just barely make out a faint scuffle from a couple floors up in the building. The hell is that? I have very good ears. I can hear that. <laughs> I heard it too, jackass. Do you want to go check it out? Yeah. Well, let's go. Okay. So Lydia and Marcel ascend the stairs and come to the door of the Butterfeathers & Co. Detective Agency. Blows up into you guys. Sorry, I was really confused because in the background I heard a train and I was like... <laughs> We're hearing the train. You guys can hear it from outside. It's... It's loud. It's loud. It's loud. We're in a city. It's a big city. Yeah, there apparently. are trains and trolleys and Okay, okay. I knock on the door. Um, do you want to answer that? I answer the door. But you know, yeah, I answer the door. Hello? <laughs> Hello? So it's in the door, me. you find this diminutive <laughs> pony that you've seen a couple days ago by the name of Butterfeathers. Oh, hey, two guys, come on in, come on in. I got something to tell you. Oh. All right, sounds good. I, I lead them in and I sit them down in front of my desk. I, and they can see, like, in my, in my place, I have this really quick like a, a conspiracy board set up. And it's not a lot oh. on it, but there's just enough. You've been busy. Yeah, I take my job very seriously. Okay, so I have this link on a guy called Horse Feathers. We're supposed to meet him at a place in the industrial district. Shit, there's not time to give me fuck. So we should probably go there ASAP. I mean, I'm down. If this is time sensitive, we can just get on going because I, I really don't want to miss this guy. Okay. Do I, I want to make sure we get to him ASAP. Do I bring gun or do I just keep that quiet? Hey, it is 100% up to you. Uh, <laughs> I, no, I'm asking I, Betty. <laughs> I, I tell Phil, yes, bring gun. This is very, very sketchy. It Might never hurts to be safe. I will bring all the gun. Do you guys have but, a gun? Don't shoot to kill. It's fine. God! Um... In my style. <laughs> Do you guys have anything? Just, you know, I don't want to bring in civilians to die. No worries, I have a means to protect myself. Rifle. I've seen my fair share of fights. Rifle. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to mention anything that, that uh, both Lydia... Well, mostly Lydia is walking around with a loaded rifle on the streets of a very popular city. <laughs> well, it's, it's like right. I was say, you have like a... It's wrapped in like plastic wrap. Like... So okay, so it's, like, no, no, no. it's wrapped in cloth. Do you have, do you have your passport? And... <laughs> do you have a fucking identification for this gun? Passport. I got a license. I mean, fair enough. I, I mean, that's that's you getting arrested or whatever. Okay. Wait, Hunter, do you have a license? Yeah. You know what, actually, I'm gonna roll for it. Do you have a permit? You do. You have a license for that gun, Hunter. <laughs> Add it to your inventory, it might come up later. What? What? He has an a open license? carry license. Okay. Yes, you have a license for your gun. Add it to your your thing, it might come up later. It okay. just popped into your pocket and you're like, what the fuck? He's like, huh? Your passport. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> what the fuck? How am I supposed to legally carry this around now? With the... The magic of the, uh, uh, let's see, what's a, what's a good name for a governing body in this world? Soy. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's the intelligence watch, watch, agency. Watch, 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 watch. The, um, the... Damn, how long is this for train? spontaneous integration. Okay. They sent you 
your uh, your permit via instant transmission. You sure I didn't mm. just have it? Coach, sure. yeah, you put in your pocket. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> I mean, I'm so, just saying. That's fine. No, you got it. it. It was all good. Anyway, um, so are we, are everybody's going? in agreement? Yes. We go yeah. to question and get answers and maybe yes. shoot people. Shoot Got ponies. It. Okay. Ponies. So I'm going to shuffle everybody over to this map. All right. Did we take the train? Yes, you guys took the, the train. The train that never seemed to stop. That's a long train. I like Burn. trains. I know you do. You guys went to the train station and got onto the train and went to the industrial district. It's the indu now the industrial district is something you guys all know about New Dams here is that the industrial district isn't exactly the nicest part of town. This is where the low lives live. Uh, not exactly the hor like the most horrendous place to live, but not fantastic. So you get off the train and things start to kind of die down a little bit. There's not a whole ton of sound around. Uh, mostly just the occasional, you know, carriage clopping past because nobody around here can afford a car. Uh, no real uh, anything, really. Just kind of houses and a couple of small businesses. Not very industrial. No, not very industrial at all. A lot of the old businesses that used to manufacture things around here have kind of gone away as uh, as the Arcano and or the, the whatever you call it the the what is it the the Archaeotech Industries from Amber City started taking over, so the more mechanical end started to be outsourced to Amber City. So the ponies around here don't really have all that much, and meaning a lot of them have turned to crime. And this is where Betty has led you all. In this oh, fun, fun school trip for you guys, or field trip? Yes. 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 Well, wouldn't be the first time I've been over here. It's gonna keep my eyes I open. I kind of part myself worriedly, but I just say, "Come on, guys, let's go to the meetup spot," and I start leading towards it. Okay. Making sure to follow the instructions to the letter. Yes. Do you guys want to, you know, just, like, assure me that you're not leading me to kill me? Why would I want to kill you? That would ruin my reputation. You'd already be dead in the apartment, you know? Eh, we're not too sure about that. It's not like I stayed in there. I mean, eh. What do I even have to gain? I mean, you already got my money. Who knows? Power. I part of the payment. So, you guys go down the street and... You enter from this direction with Betty Horses. leading the way. Okay. Well, uh, being in this see, part of town, I'd recommend you guys keep you. your eyes peeled. And that's going to be <sighs> that is foe. Sorry, I gotta set up all your tokens and all that shit. Ooh. Yay. It's not Fast Hunter. This is the name of the game. It's a slow and patient game. Yeah, it's but... Not, it does not go fast. For future reference, should I pause recordings while you're setting shit like this up? No. Okay. No, you really shouldn't. Because this is where RP happens, guys. <laughs> this, this is the meat That's of the game. All, so all I of said you guys should keep your eyes peeled. Also, I like how both part, like both, like little factions of the horses are facing the opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> Betty and Phil face left. The other two face right. I mean, hey, it works out. Okay. So, essentially, you guys have entered the industrial district. You have reached the meetup spot where Horse Feathers has said to meet up. And he's not here. Let's just give us a bit of time. I told you it might be early. All right. Well, just we'll just wait, but be sure to be keeping your eyes and ears open. Okay. I've gotten in a fight down here before. Needless to say, it's not exactly safe. Okay. okay. So, I'm going to say... 
Everybody roll for perception. Why is there a bunch well, of zeros? Uh, right, well, why did you have a bunch of zeros at the end of my name? I didn't add them. So, roll <laughs> d20, yeah? No. no. Well, you know how the system works, right? I just hit that button for nothing. I don't... Wait, just... Hunter, you, you know how this system works, right? Do I do Rolling I... for evens of successes, odds of failures. What am I rolling? You're rolling your perception. Okay. I got the complete average. Two wins, two losses. Not going to lie, I was not told exactly how the system works. Perception. Uh, you roll... Alright, perception is secondary. Okay. You just roll anything. Roll so the, or... the amount of d6s that I would use is this. Let me see. On your... My perception, I'm guessing. For your perception. Uh... What I mean? The amount of d6s? Yes. Perfectly average. <laughs> but they're doing d8s. What? Average, I don't think it's better than d6s. Well, you could roll whatever you want to roll. It just, it's just about odds or evens, and all the dice are evenly numbered, so odds or even will end up with the same okay, result. So... I'll just do d6 then. Damn. That's a lot of dice. That is four successes from Marcel. Four successes for Marcel. Okay. So, Marcel, since you're the only one who succeeded, you notice that there are several rather sketchy characters coming down the road from. Well, let's see how I ping. I'm trying to remember how to ping. Whatever. Uh, uh, hold the mouse down. When you're on select, oh, yeah, when yeah. you're on select. From this direction. Coming down this way. And as you guys as you see them. I not over. You see some very slick, sharp dressed men. Or well, ponies. Walking down the street and you immediately recognize them as organized crime. Specifically, uh where did I put his name? Specifically, Tony Two Shoes's <laughs> That shit. Guys, Not Tony Two Shoes. <laughs> no. I just, I just am nodding in the direction, but trying not to be too obvious that I noticed. And it becomes painfully obvious that you guys have just stumbled into Tony Two Shoes's turf. Fuck. So. Figure out what you guys are gonna do. Maybe what is, is so problem? this so this person did they do you think they let us into a trap very good chance is why <sighs> so you guys have options so there are a couple of buildings nearby specifically this building this building this building as well as this building these are all businesses how many horsemen are there in the group of, of Tony Two Shoes men? Um, I'm trying to actually get like a number right More now. More of us and less or less of us. Uh, less than you. Hmm. Less so than two, you, three. and they don't really care about your presence. But the yeah, point so is, is that they, these are dangerous they, ponies. Or are they just there, or are they they're like just there. Of they're just there walking down the street? They're just there walking. They're, said, it looks like the it looks like they're patrol. Oh. It duck still would be house. better to not be seen. Yeah, duck into the house right around here. Right here. Yeah, I'd want to duck in if possible. So I'm Everybody the ducks into the house. Yep. Wait, do we know if the house is abandoned before we go in there? I like no, stop the group before. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's probably a bad idea. I'm gonna Walk I like stop like... the gang. <laughs> okay. So, like oh, wait, everybody can door. everybody can handle their own, own stare at door. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. You're good. Do a okay, quick like. So, let me see. What are you gonna roll for that? Investigation. Perception? I would say investigation. Yeah. Would it count as a search? Uh, what is your average? My average is a four. A four. Uh. Even if I use search. Okay, uh, investigation and 
roll for sn- uh do you want to just kind of like pop open the door and then just kind of clumsily well, I'm trying pull to feel back like in? Sun- I'm or are you to just trying to peek and like see in and see what's going on inside is there a window um there is a window um, i want to just like just kind of casually walk past the window maybe kind of make it look like i'm looking but not really okay uh i'm gonna say roll Roll investigation and also roll. I'll say bluff. Bluff. <laughs> investigation. Oh wait. What? Yeah, that that's number. Can I assist with this or no? <laughs> Actually, I don't even know what's going. One, no, no. two, and uh, four bluff? successes for your bluff. Oh, that's One, your two, investigation. Two. This is your bluff. Yeah, investigation is low. Um, One, two. Bluff three, is huge. Four, five. Six. Six successes for your block. Wow. Okay, so in order to keep a low profile, you very casually, nonchalantly just stroll past the window, drawing zero attention to the occupants inside. And mm-hmm. you're able to catch a glimpse and see on the inside that there are three definitely not... Wait. Three. There are three. There are three ponies inside. One of them's a foal, uh, and oh. the other one, and the, the other two are also sharp dressed mafia dons. Yeah, that would have been bad, guys. Let's not go in there. Where are the <laughs> other houses? Oh, <laughs> like this one, and what's the other one? Uh, there's. We're gonna see us if we cross the street. Can't there we, can't we just go behind one. the building? Well, and. Here's the thing that should be. No- oh wait, actually, wait. What am I fucking doing? What are we what fucking are doing? doing? <laughs> there are horses in, in this direction. What you guys are gonna do? Yeah, what we know there's mafia down south. keep pointing out a direction, but I don't okay. know which direction. To the to the to the to the, to the east, there are horses okay, coming down there. the street. In this house, there are mafia Here. dons. We should probably go in the alleyway. So yeah, I was gonna say, let's just go behind. I wouldn't want to go behind the Mafia Don place. I'd rather go behind here. True. Maybe. This place. Uh, You guys can definitely do that. I mean, it's just between two buildings. Quickly cross to that side. (laughs) It's the only way. (laughs) It's the only way to run. Fucking book it. (laughs) Change it. Sounds fine to me. All right, so everybody books it. Okay. Uh, Books it in a cool way. Books it in a cool way. Uh, there are um, windows. I'm gonna the assume, okay, so the party ducks behind. The... Like we're not trying to be suspicious or something. We're just kind of like moving ourselves along the way. Just yeah. You know. The party ducks behind a ramshackle building, uh, trying their best to not draw any attention to themselves. So far, it seems to have worked, and the and the mafia goons, very casually, just kind of talking amongst themselves, just like, "Hey, have you seen the the thing with the stuff?" And they're like, "Oh hey, yeah, I like that hey, thing too." Hey, <laughs> and you're trying out Tony's walk down the pizza, street, Tony? And they enter this building. <laughs> Wait, which building right. again? This the one. The one we were about to enter. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Enter nice. this building. And you guys wait. You wait for another minute. I kind of turned back to the people. I realized that was probably horse feathers. The guy led me to the mafia. Ah, god damn it. Ma'am, I think your husband was killed by the mafia. Very possible. This will have a pay raise. Just do you know what horse feathers looks like, Betty? I mean you talked to them, I think, right? No, I didn't. I got I got a tip off on horse feathers. What? Oh. Hmm. How Okay. So Look, you let us here when direction. we could have. We so there was no actual like we were gonna meet somebody or anything like that. You just oh, let us here when we could have. I, I okay. no. I think those were the guys. Look, you have to understand. I'm working on very limited resources you've given me here. Okay, it's not like you guys gave me a perfect description of the guy and we're gonna find him or whatever. This no, all true. I got is this stupid ass symbol. Now it's time for. Perfectly good horse investigation question for you, Marcel. Um, what's so like? What's your story when it comes to the murder? I'm just here trying to get rid of the, you know, the bad in the world. 
That's okay, why I travel. Back. I just want to get rid of the people that are doing wrong. But like wanna... directly in regards to the murder itself, like if, if you said you you think the guy who killed Lydia's husband was the guy that you want to go out for after, but, like tell us yes, more about Yes, because him. it's because it's the same symbol. T tell me oh, more I... about that. We we never got we never got info on that. I all I really know for the most part is that this is a man that leads like a gang which, you know, seemingly it's looking pretty Mafia-esque at this point. But I knew it was some kind of band of people with Mr. Head Honcho being one hell of a nasty character. Having to put up with him, just going around, getting money from people that barely have any to begin with, just for their safety, you know? Just trying to get them to pay them anything that they got just so that they don't get killed by these assholes. And I want him fucking gone. I don't know his name, but I just know he is fucking bad news and needs to go. And he's very mm. prevalent around here. That much I know. Betty, how do I follow up on this? I'm new to this. <laughs> okay, so I that was a big bunch of nothing. I mean, a little bit. <laughs> I don't understand what you want from Betty, me. You get a style I'm, travel point. I'm traveling <laughs> from place to place. Betty, you get a style point. That was a perfect response for that. Like, you just gave a vague description of, well, the Mafia. I'm just saying, it's looking pretty Mafia-esque. All I got a tip off of this fucker is that he's very well known, but the, I don't know his name. more known than the Don, which, again, is out of my water. Dude, I don't fucking, fucking know. Maybe the best. But this is more than a bunch of four idiots can take care of. Unless you want to stroll in there and shoot the place up and get, then get hits put on us for the rest of our lives. we got to look over our shoulders. Are we going to count how many people entered the building? Uh, it's just the two. Okay, so two guys. Two, two and, there was the and there's two, a full in there. I don't work there with was fulls the two like guys, this. And then there was the full. That's probably their kid. Do you know the kind of wrath we're going to incur if we, like, kill the uncle of a guy who's watching his brother's kid? Okay, mm. I it wasn't my intention to go in murdering people. That's not I, the point here. I can listen through the window if you want. I mean, that works. Excuse me, just, just scooch on around through the... Excuse me? <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> just, um... How's the street look right now? Uh, it's empty. <laughs> then I suppose, I suppose there's like no windows facing our way? Uh, not directly, no. The closest line of sight would be from here, and it's obvious that the people inside were not even remotely watching anybody. All right, time for some stealth That's rolls and getting home. up to their, to getting up to their, like, the one window that they were near. Or actually, <sighs> it's, hmm, it's the alleyway it is a two-story building. True. Shit. Hmm. There's probably more up in there. I mean, maybe. Hmm. This is the worst possible idea. If if it matters. Hey, um, if he's good at if he's good at sneaking, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Um, I have one question: matters, How much are you guys gonna pay us for this? Uh, what, uh, Hunter? What do you want to say? I'm Great gonna to stand over here and watch the street. Well, okay, that's fine. All right, so Hunter, uh, Lydia is sitting on near the street corner watching the street, just being nonchalant about it, but keeping an eye out. All right. Uh, Fo, Fo, what are you doing? I'm going to cross and try to see if there's a window near the alleyway you could try listening to. All right, perfect. Also um, going to be try stealthing. I'm going to say be a sneak or sneak. Sneak. Well, you're sneak. Sneaky boy. Um. No. Oh. <clears throat> that should be thievery, right? Um, it's stealth. Stealth. Okay, yeah. It's straight up stealth roll. Um. Fox. Yeah. Two. Three. Wow. That's pretty unlucky. You just barely made that check. 
<laughs> you just barely made that check. So you you sneak past the window, but just barely because there's a guy right in the window, just looking out into the alley. You don't know why he's looking out, but he's right there. Probably because there's four suspicious fucking horses out here. And he's just kind of looking out. He seems to be talking to some guy. So you you lean your ear up against the the building and you can just hear through the wall. So when the fuck is this guy supposed to actually come out here? Don told us that he'd be out here in a couple of hours, but we've been sitting here for two days and he hasn't showed. Just give me a second, Frankie. Come on. I'm just waiting for... Hey, uh, right, okay. And then the guy turns around. Apparently he was stretching on the windowsill. <laughs> Oof. Okay. The plan is to wait for the guy to meet up with the schmucks that he's supposed to be meeting up with and then take his freaking head off. That's the plan. And we're going to stick to it. We got a guy upstairs. There's no problems. Just stay cool and hang out with the kid. Fine, whatever. Give me another pack of smokes while you're out. It's quickly like, and they're going to get out to just fucking... Zip across yeah, the street some, with the wing. Here's some flopping outside. <laughs> hey, you book it. Yeah, just, oh shit, someone's moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you book it across the street. You make it what just fine. Go? No problems. Uh, I have to it. Fresh. And from out of the building stream three of the guys, and they walk down the street this way, out of sight. Dudes. I think our guy is being set up by them to get to just to meet up with us, and then they're gonna cut his head off. Um, he's so he's, he's not in there. Yeah, I don't think he's here yet. He's gonna be here though. Okay. So they didn't say anyone's name directly. Mob, right? What? Because yeah, so I got the thing two. I, I got I got my lead like two days ago, Aki. Yes. Okay. So well, I uh, my... by about two days ago. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting here for, for, for definitely for a while. So well, what are we gonna do when this ago. guy gets here? When he's gonna get well, lost? Let's just off. drag him. Just drag yeah. him away from the building. Just intercept him. Don't let him in there. Then in the first place, they're gonna know something's up. But it's better. Well, we, he, we have to stop him before he even gets like within sight of the building. Well, and I don't know the guy. I want to see answers to horse feathers. Yeah, but he knows you. Maybe. Maybe if we just have you in the park. Maybe he has the same Maybe. thing, and he only has. Freaking butter feathers. Um, that that's pretty weird coincidence. But that would be. I've seen worse. What I'm saying is, we both might only have names. You're not wrong. Well, I guess um, we're just gonna have to use our intuition. All you know is that some guy was supposed to meet you, and he didn't show up. So where exactly was he? Where we supposed to meet him? Precisely. Again, just remind me, Betty. It was right there, right, Octi. Uh, well, specifically, it was at the train station platform. I told you I followed the fucking instructions to the letter. Maybe he got rumbled on this side. Of the no, you, that is true. No, you were there. Yeah. So yeah, no, you did. You're right. Yeah. I have a theory. Well, then it wasn't. Well, he wasn't there. So why are we here? Yeah, why are we here? What? Damn it, Bob. What? <laughs> No, we went to the station. You're at the right spot. I'm telling you. Is this a station? I'm trying to find. Is this a station? (laughs) Is this a station? You guys guys are at the station. You followed it to a T, and you saw the guys, (laughs) and you ducked into. You ducked behind the building because they were coming. Okay, so this is the station spot right here. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Yes. What? God damn it! Okay. How tall is the house? Two that stories. one that you're on? The one that they ducked out of. The one that they just came out of? Yeah. Um, two stories, I think. Uh, it's two stories, so I'm going to say... Is like, it possible that our contact could be months. upstairs? Pardon? No, they said, they, they, they no. said they're waiting for him to show up. Well, yeah, they're they already waiting. nabbed him. But they're still waiting you for him to check. show up. Yeah, they said that he's You can waiting. check, but, uh, I mean, that's what he knows. You can okay. check. That's what I know. Okay. And I'm a horse. 
I'm not going to stop any from anybody from doing anything. Give me a moment. I'm not sure why you keep reminding us you're a horse, but okay. Well, it's because he's a horse. Exactly. I mean, but, all right. But I'm also a horse, but I don't everybody say thinks that. She, everybody thinks she's a horse. Yes. No, no, we know that, but it's just he has to, he keeps audibly saying I am a horse. Yeah, so see, like, but we why? got a roll for it when he says that. So, yeah, everybody thinks he's a horse. <laughs> yeah, I. Okay. Listen, he's not in there yet, and he didn't show up to the platform. But they seem to be all together as a group. I mean, the 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 the, the mafiosos, they all seem to be together in a group. So maybe, maybe he got, he got spooked too. Like we we hid away when we saw them. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Well, I mean, it's possible. I, I I don't know. I was uh, gonna try and investigate. I, um, but you can still do that. You can still I, to be fair. It. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a hint. You guys haven't really left this little square space. Yeah. I was about to cross the street. You could do that if you really yeah, you want can to. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Yeah. You don't need committee approval. <laughs> yeah, cross you do walks. you, man. I mean, if you walk right in there, cross walks, you. You know. I am f I am employed by Butterfeather's agency. I'm probably gonna get mad at you. Maybe maybe we should sc scooch out. Maybe, maybe she's got the right idea. What do you think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out this way. That ain't it. What? Sorry, I'm I'm looking for fucking NPC stand-ins because I fucking need them. Ba -ba -da. I I'm just gonna like, kind of walk out here, and I'm gonna just I act down like the normal. Street. It's a nice day in the park for horses, eh? <laughs> <laughs> for us horses. No, <laughs> to be fair, nobody's rolled anything yet. It's gonna sit here at the park bench and just uh, right, roll so perception. You're sitting on the park bench. Won't we'll sit on the park bench and roll perception, I guess. Uh, I will also here, I'll follow roll behind perception. Lydia. Uh, okay, roll roll your perception rolls, guys. Okay. I'm gonna sit here, relax, and Forget, roll what, perception. What, 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 what am I looking for here? Odds or evens? Hunter gets t you're uh, either or. You call them, but I prefer evens. Okay, yeah, I, I'll take I evens. Call you. We should keep it all the evens then. Yeah. I like so... evens because ones are still ones and eights are eights. Yeah. I like how you accidentally uh, rolled a singular d4 and you got one. <laughs> wait, uh. That one didn't count. That was just me accidentally butterfinger it. Yeah. Oops, butterfingers. Butterfingers. Oh, God. <laughs> Betty, like, slips wow. on a pe- uh, sli I don't think I'm got blood. two on that. What are fingers? Yeah. Uh, you know, those articulating things on the hands? Yeah, those those things. I can make fingers. Oh, that's what they call them. I can make fingers. And you just do it. <laughs> <laughs> he just makes fingers out of thin air, and they flop on the ground. See, fuck? nobody it took hands, my so nobody took hands. So you can't like you can't say that you have fingers. Breaking character. Nobody wanted hands. They're dumb. They're awesome. No, yeah, they're I was gonna say they are cool. I can make fingers. <laughs> The You're just whispering uh, that to yourself on a bench. Wait, can you? <laughs> the most I was gonna. Yes. There's an actual picture in the book of, of a mirage with paint with fingers. Oh God. He has oh, fingertips. God. Fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> well, fingers. Well, fingers are claws. Wanted to say something. Claws. <laughs> fingertips. Hunter. Uh, Hunter. You wanted to say something? Uh, the most I was gonna go for was a Decker, but I'm not going for anything unarmed. Got it. Okay. I am sitting on the bench with my eyes out. <laughs> well, okay, so... <laughs> Look, did any of us find anything? Unfortunately, it looks like nobody found anything, but they did see an innocuous pony kind of walking down this way. Down what way? Uh, this down way. the street. He's, like, walking down the street. <laughs> Can kind of you use, like, the ruler? Huh? The ruler, because it's it's a lot better than just a sudden ping somewhere on the yeah, map. because the ping does disappear. Oh, that's it. right, because you guys can't see the whole thing, can you? You guys don't zoom out like I do. I, I zoom do. out. I well, I zoom out. out, but I can't see the entire thing. And plus, yeah, I like to look yeah, at our yeah. character art. Yeah, it's sort of yeah, like, yeah. It, it, it's, it phases out of existence when you're doing it. So it's kind of like, oh, it, it, where was it again? <laughs> well, basically, it, so he's coming down the street like this. He's yeah, okay, like it's that. much better. But he stops right over here, right? And then he goes like that. Okay, he uh, over. I... He starts walking to the bench. I crossed the street. Oh, wait, wait. 
I, I looked, waved to him. I looked both ways, and then I crossed the street. Good, I was gonna- I was gonna <laughs> put something in the street. Oh no. Gets run over. Alright. Uh, uh, at least- I'm I'm an asshole! Yeah, no, you just hear that- you just hear that bam bam of a car just like, screeching past you, just- <laughs> Which I, of course, would follow suit and be with Lydia. Alright. So you two cross the street and you guys go and meet the others in the park. Yes. Bo is oh, okay. waving at the dude. Hello. You're waving at him? Yeah, just wave. Hey! Uh, he 100% averts his gaze and just goes to sit on this park bench. Huh. I, oh, God damn it. I need something to, I need something to put up. Okay, just grab a, a token. random fucking token. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna Do you pick want one. me to wave? Make a horse. Make a horse. Uh, Literally, yeah, just look up I'm horse. Make a horse. I'm, I'm look gonna up an horse. actual picture of a horse. And <laughs> I am like his generic pony it. token. I found it by googling it. Yeah, I got <laughs> a picture of the Bojack's face. Not, put in the, there you go. Boom. Generic pony token. Boom. Oh, you got something. Wow. That's an Boom. actual horse. We got oh, the boy. It's a horse, it's a horse that was squeezed into one a fucking square. <laughs> that poor horse. <laughs> he's just a horse now and he's sitting on this bench. Screw he's compressed. <laughs> boy, he's it's like a pug of a horse. Boy is defective. Alright, boom. There he is. Horse. God, that horse looks fucking weird. Look, he's having a hard time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this this campaign scuff as fuck right now. Just give me some time. Yeah. Just wait, like, we're gonna have to deal with this. This right. campaign's like Scud from Toy Story. Big time. Uh, Scud. So, uh, I, I'd like to do a perception roll on the horse. All right, all right. That looks like a light. pug. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, see anything. Can I do an insight roll? It looks roll like him? he was beaten um, with a frying pan. An insight roll, huh? Yeah, I want to see if he looks like the, my my kind of guy that I would talk to. Uh, I should have done an insight, actually. I have five in that. I have Same. a zero. Nice. Um. Actually, hold on. I don't know if you can roll that against that. Why not? You don't know this guy. I want like, insight into him, though. Insight. That's the whole point of insight. I don't know him. I'm gonna get some insight. Okay, you. Okay, yeah. If you want, you can roll insight. You know, like sizing a person up, getting a look at him, yeah, body exactly. language. Yeah, you can roll insight. Does he look the kind of guy that's... Oh, God, I only got one success. Oof. Big uh, oof. He, he looks pretty much normal, if a little shy. Aw, he's just shy guy. He's like Lydia's supposed to be. <laughs> Lydia's uh, just Hunter. socially awkward and has a hard time expressing herself. All right, Hunter, so you rolled insight. Wait, no, I should have used a fucking I style perception. Point. You roll perception. Uh, you did not get any successes. Can I roll perception? I got wow. One there, success, you oh no, he got a one even. He got a two. You got a one even. Okay, yeah. Um. Bad you see that you see that this pony is gray. I'm gray. With a kind of slick back white mane. No, it's not white. No, sorry, it's slick back. Uh, is this guy my brother. Okay, first of all, the icon is brown. Eddie, you don't it's see a... color. Everyone's so gray. He's <laughs> he is a. You're not gray. You're black. Oh my god, I'm gonna, fucking, I'm gonna fucking change the color of this thing and just like, just deep fry it to shit, I swear to god. Yeah, but his shade of gray looks like my shade of gray. God, you're not even gray, okay, you're black. So he is True. white. So white. He, he is a white, uh, like a gray <laughs> pony with a slick back, like black mane. Yay. So That's all you see. Because he's kind of trying to cover his face with the collar of his little trench. Okay, I'll be real. I don't think I need an insight roll to tell it. This guy's my guy. Hey, Marcel, keep an eye out. I want to just kind of like walk up past him, just like have a nice day, smiling about. Just going to approach him a bit and Which, say, well, Hi, the... nice day out, isn't it? Just going to stroll up with her. <laughs> Which, during all this, I'm just keeping a lookout just... for oh. any of the undesirables. Uh, yeah. Nice day. I'm gonna casually hang up Very on the beautiful. fountain because I kind of give him a horsey this. grin. Of course, I give him a, a horsey, horsey grin. Can, can I use my like, seduction? Can I use like seduction to make him feel like more more at ease? 
Use I cute. guess you could, yeah. Use yeah. cute. Like use my natural cute. cuteness. You could use cute, yeah. I, I'm not like a mobster, I'm just a cute pro. Use cute. The fuck is rolling for horse and speed, though? One, two, <laughs> rolling three, for horse. Four, five, uh, six. I was. Even. What's your average on that? It's six, six. right? Yeah, yeah, you should have just, just taken the average, you would have been fine. Well, I did. I just got average. Yeah, you just got average. Uh, so you kind of bat your eyes at him, just like not seductively or anything. You're just like kind of like playing up. Like I'm a cutie pie. Cutie. Yeah, and it's just like, uh, you know, trying to soften him up. Like, what do you say? What do you say to the guy? Huh? What? I uh, no, I just uh, I just like trying to animal, like like what I said was cute. Basically, just hi, nice day, and it comes across as cute, and not just hey, nice fucking day out, isn't it, asshole? Uh, okay, yeah, I get you. Stop, you know, fucker. Horsey grin. <laughs> <laughs> good. The grin is horse. Good, good grin. Good grin. So. On a side note, I just realized I'm doing perception wrong. I should have been using nice. six. Oof. Won't happen. Yeah, you got to keep track of your numbers. Yeah, you horsey keep track oof. of those. You don't, you, we don't read horse here. oof. Yeah, redoing die is lame. Again. Um, there's. I, I mean, I guess you can, but uh, w let's get through this RP first. So yeah. they're, they're, um, so you horsey grin. So basically, he kind of softens up a little bit. It's just like uh, well, this person doesn't seem too bad, or whatever. You know, that's what he's thinking. Then you see this, just you know, plain looking horse, just give this very toothy, fake ass grin, <laughs> and he kind of. He scoots away on the bench a little bit just to kind of get away from him. Do I not say anything? Just like mm. away. Nah. So brings you on such a nice day. Yeah, it's it's fine. Yeah. Well, of course so, it's fine. Uh, uh, what what are what are you doing out? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to meet up a friend. A, a, a friend, you say? Yeah. yeah. Never met him before, but he seems nice. Got a name similar to mine. Oh yeah, what's uh, what's his friend's name? Feathers. Fe feathers. Feathers. What? Oh, what, do you know someone with the name Feathers? No, not really. No, it's, you know, I'm just trying to make conversation. You know. Well, all right. His name is Pony Feathers. <laughs> this is I don't know, fucking give away his fucking name just like that, but I will be subtle. I was just giving away your name. Uh, um, Lydia rolls for a face hoof. I would like to roll for an arm. <laughs> roll for an arm. So silent. Shay, what's Octi like right now? He's just sitting there. <laughs> Menacingly. <laughs> Wait, no. So I was gonna quickly turn around and give the area a look, see, because uh, go well, I've been I've been melee. keeping an eye out. I'm gonna go roll for melee with that face hoof. <laughs> you succeed. Uh, oh you god! Succeed. You, you take one point of stun damage from slapping your face you so hard. What's, no. what's your stone? You don't take any damage. You just face hoof. I imagine just like birds chirping, cricketing as everything's completely silent. Yeah, Suddenly no, broken you get up by absolute a... crickets. Like the world has stopped around you, and you Even can the hear the universe making cricket sounds with the stars themselves. <laughs> All so, and he wanna... just leans into you, and it's just like, my gave gave you one job. And what that was to say horse feathers correctly. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, so you are the guy. By the six, what is your problem? Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. We gotta I, get I out of here. Turn about, I'm to I turn off my cuteness factor. It's like, look, I ain't just gonna go sitting around horse feathers all willy-nilly. As you might know, this isn't exactly the right kind of town. I don't know why you wouldn't. It's not like anybody around here even knows who you are. You could have well, just yeah, said it. You should be like, hi, good morning, that. horse feathers or some bullshit like that, and I would have gotten it. Well, what if you were someone else? What if you were some kind of suspicious person who would have fucking killed what horse feathers? Tony. <laughs> I don't know your fucking name. Sorry, what was that mean? What if you were Tony? What if you... The, trust me, look. Tony wouldn't have anything to do with me. The guy... 
Look, okay, fine. You know, We're you know, what? I'm just gonna spell it. Look, he's related to me. I'm his cousin. Okay. There's a lot of Tony. Oh, you're his cousin. Family. Okay, good. All right then, horse feathers. Can you oh, give me the shit. Fucking... Name is Tommy. Okay, My Tom, is Tommy, Tommy, Timmy. I don't fucking care what your goddamn name is. Nah, 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 nah. Look, if we're going to have a relationship here, you got to have a little bit of respect. My name is Tommy Two Hooves, all right? All Not right, mistaken then, Mr. with Tony Two Shoes, all right? All right, then, Mr. Two Hooves. All right, let's just put this hilarious incident behind us, okay? Okay. Okay. He kinda, Hi, he, nice he, to he meet you. Sits I'm down on the bench and just, he, puffs his, he puffs up his little his, his collar on his coat just to, you know, he's like, fine. That's okay. All right. Let's be civil about this. Hello there, Mr. Hor Tony. Don't, don't mind me. I'm I am Betty Butterfeathers. Nice to meet you. I hold up my hoof to, like, shake. A pleasure to meet you too, madame. And he shakes your hoof and he gives you kind of a, a little bit of a I like a peck on the hoof, and it's like a little slimy because he's a grease ball. <laughs> Fuck the hell. I just kind of serene oblivious <laughs> to it. <laughs> <laughs> it just, just, Internally. Uh, it's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the information that I need about the guy who murdered some poor widow's husband? <sighs> I the guy who talked to you told me that you found something, and I don't know what it is. Show me, show me the thing. What do you got? Give him the picture. I, I flash him the picture of the symbol. Do you know anything about it? Oh, you guys got fucked up, didn't you? Well, I didn't get fucked up. I'm just trying to figure out who got her husband got fucked up. Uh, yeah, slowly, <laughs> he got fucked. Lydia slowly walks up behind to hear better. Sorry? I, I walk up behind them because I'm super interested in this conversation. Is that a so problem? we'll take this okay. moment to enter Which the Which I'm still on the... It's still on the other bench. No, I'm looking out to see if anybody... I've been looking out for anybody approaching, like, of those guys that were there and things like that <sighs> because of what Bo said about them wanting to kill that guy. So I've been keeping a lookout for any bad dudes since Good. we got over here. Any bad dudes? Actually, I'm going to have you roll... I'm going to have you roll Perception with a plus two because you're actually being proactive about it. All right. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So how, how do I got foe into this bush? He's just he's just in the bush. Well, oh, no. sorry. It's That's a tree. Oh, shit. Well, you can climb the tree with, <laughs> with an acrobatics check. What, what kind of tree is it? Like, how, 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 sorry, how, uh, how, how dense it is? How can dense is fly this tree? Up there? I could fly up it, but like, how dense is this tree? In terms uh, of like not coverage. super, it's like a it's like a regular apple tree kind of, but it's a maple, you know. It's a tree. It's strong. It's just not huge. Yeah, talking about like my, my, for my for my tactical stealth, for my need to get out of the goddamn open field. It's a fucking open park, and there's mafiosos in a building over there, and foes getting anxiety. Lamp is at home. It's hey, middle uh, of the day. Betty, uh, <laughs> Lamp's at home. I ran little, out of conk. Oh yeah, they don't really do well on pressure. What what pressure? What pressure is there? It's what just pressure me. Is it? Yeah. No yeah. offense, but you're pretty intimidating. <laughs> he takes off his trench coat and he's like scrawny as shit. It's, it's like, like, bro, you don't know what scrawny dudes can do. I was a scrawny dude that. almost bite my nose off. <laughs> nah, it's fine. But yeah, oh, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I seen a guy like you almost bite my nose off. It was scary. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. They... Anyway, yes, symbol. We are we are fucked up and all that. Yes. Anything more, please? So, alright. Look, I'm not at liberty to say too, too much. Alright. What I can tell you is that... So, back in the day, we had this guy, right? Mm-hmm. He was kind of a dipshit, right? Mm-hmm. So, we had... To snuff him out, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. He had already gone squealing to the feds, mm -hmm. right? Now we couldn't old. touch him. Mm -hmm. So my cousin, right, he says, don't mm -hmm. worry. I got an answer for this. And so he calls up his guy, who's got mm -hmm. another guy, who knows a group of guys 
that use this. And, point, mm -hmm. and he taps his hook to that picture. All right. That use that as their 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 rallying, whatever the whatever they want to call it. They're a bunch of they're a bunch of madmen. They're complete off their rockers, crazy. Every one of them. I can assume. There's only the one time that Tony called these guys, and he never touched them again. And to this day, I, I don't even, I don't, I'm not even sure I forgive him for that. Mm -hmm. You should have seen the warehouse after he was done. Not only was the one guy whacked, but the entire warehouse was whacked. Every one of them. Bloody pulp. Jeez. It's a lot of stiffs. You didn't hear that on the nose? It, was, mm. it went viral for a, like a month. I don't really keep up with the news all that much. So, as... Alright. Uh... One, two. Wow, you only got a... Wait. Wait, really? You only got a two? Wow. What? All of them are odds. What do you want? Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. What's the odds on this? What do you mean? Three. What? What's your average for your perception? Like your average? Uh, you mean just a number? Yeah. What's your average? Six. It's a five, right? What? Your perception number? What is that? Six. Oh my God. Six? So your six. average would be three. Okay. Okay. Uh... Do you pass that? Hold on, sorry. I gotta look through my notes here. Because that... That might be on the spot. But... No, I had it down as a four. Wow, okay. So, as you guys are talking, right? Uh-huh. So... Tony over here, or Tommy over here, he's getting a big head. He's kind of blah, 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 blah. He's talking. You guys are all talking. And all the commotion has distracted Marcel over here, who's trying to keep an eye out. But your commotion is making him nervous because he knows that they're going to get found out. And, oh, sure enough, out pops these two goons. Uh, this guy and this and this guy. These two goons. Is that like a bomb? Oh, it's a saddle pack. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Is that a bomb? To differentiate a them bomb. A little bit, okay. A bomb? Oh no! So out pop these two goons, right? And they come up to you guys. And at a first glance, you don't even need to look. These guys are armed. Huh. They have two submachine guns. Just in their hands, walking about. And so they call out. They're like, hey, Tony or Tommy, whatever your heckin' name is. The boss says he wants you dead. Uh, Lydia ducks behind the fountain here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have to revoke that. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, oh, oh. no unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah, uh, move. Whatever, you're right. No there. one was ready. <laughs> yeah, no, no one's ready. I'm gonna say. Just... Time Actually, you know what? No, Lydia, you can you can move if you yeah, want to. No. If you want to just jump behind that thing, fine. Like just, ready. just the sudden startling of it. Yeah. So, that's um, stealthily, <laughs> ready a pistol. Which I, right away, the minute people are shouting over it, <laughs> like, I just stand up. Like, I stand up off of it. Okay. So, Marcel's at the ready. I'm unwrapping my rifle. This tree and also tarp. gun. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of give Tommy a bit of a look of, like, yeah, I'm not helping here. Yeah, and Tommy should get behind that bench. He probably dies. Actually, hmm. See, unfortunately, Tommy's got a bit of a big head. So, Tommy says, Oh, yeah? You in what army? I'm going to have uh, the whole party roll for perception real quick. Oh, oh shit. good lord. The army. <laughs> the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Killing oh. Tommy. Two wolves out here with the boys. Uh, mine doesn't go up to Three. six. 
Uh, How do so I get more yeah, that's dice? Good. One, two, three, okay. three more. So, Hunter, you press the dice icon itself. Wait, what? So, to, to the advance roller. Or you just press slash R and then 6d6 or 6d8 or whatever you want. Uh, yeah, like that. Or just roll it once six times. There you go. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, it's right, only so two. One, two, I like how I'm just the only one that's like, I'm going to go three. with six. Uh, and then six, Marcel seven. has... 66. One, two, three. 66 wow, dice. okay. Foe yes. has... One, two, three... <laughs> That's one, two, three. God, nobody passed it.